Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create an endless corridor. And this is a little bit of a hack, but we're just going to grab an asset from the content examples. So I just did a quick little video on a third person character running down this corridor. And what's cool is that you can make this corridor go as long as you want, and then you can use it in any other project and modify it. So it's actually procedurally generated. So the first thing you got to do is go to the Unreal Marketplace and download the content examples. And this is free. And then you'll go create project from there. And I've already done that. So I've already created the project here. So we've got that. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to launch Unreal Engine here. And let's just create a blank. I'll just call this blank project here. But it's a third person template. And we don't need the starter content in it. And we're just going to create it. So number one, make sure you download the content examples from the marketplace and have that available. And then go ahead and create. Once you've got that created, you'll create a project out of that. And then you're going to need to go ahead and create a blank third person template game right here. I'm just going to minimize it. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up that. Once you get the content example, downloaded, you'll go create project. And that's what this is. And so if I double click into it, we're going to go in here now and migrate some content out of here into the blank project we just created right here. You do this a lot. So what's cool is we'll come in here to this is amazing, really, you should have this content example thing because it's so there's just so much in here. But there's this one here called demo room. And once you have it selected, you can right click and browse to the asset and it's right here. And once it's selected, you just right click it and we're going to go asset action, migrate. And we'll go OK. We're going to select everything. And then we're going to go to my Unreal project, the blank project and go on the select the content folder and go select. And then it's just going to take this asset. It literally takes it out of the content example, but we're going to go ahead and close this now. We don't need that. And then we can jump into our blank project. And now under this folder global, you'll see we have this demo room. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into file new level and we're going to create a new basic level. And this is a persistent level. So that's good. Go ahead and open that. It comes in with this mesh. We're just going to go ahead uh, or floor. And we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then once that's deleted, we're going to click in this folder, go to blueprints and just drag this BP demo room. And it comes in here. Now this is amazing to me. And let's just take a look at it from a distance. So this is all procedurally generated and it's a cool, it's got this logo and you can modify this in any number of ways. But let's look at something over here that's really, really cool. If we come on the details panel, let me make this bigger here, and you come to rooms, and you go to index, you'll see it has length here, and width, and height, and you can turn off like the pillars. It's kind of, there's a lot of modifications you can make on here. Like I said, if you want to get rid of that logo, you can put in a different logo. But the coolest thing is the length. So it's set to 5 right now. But let's just set it to 30 and see what happens. Look what happens. <laughs> that is cool. How long would it take to model something like this? If you just model through it, right? And then all you have to do for this... This is amazing, right? I mean, this is absolutely amazing. And this can be repurposed to anything that you want. Yeah. So this is how you would have an endless corridor, pretty much. And you could turn it into whatever you want. Let's take a look at it from the outside. Yeah, it's just, it's just a trip. It's all just a trip to me. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.